Prince Harry longed to have someone by his side when he was on royal engagements, before he met Meghan Markle, a royal author has claimed. Angela Levin, writer of Harry, Conversations with the Prince, says that the Duke of Sussex struggled on long trips on his own. She said that he wanted to ensure Queen Elizabeth II had as much help as possible so would carry on with duties even though he longed for a private life. Miss Levin was talking to publication online conservative women. She commented, Prince Harry told me he longed to have someone by his side when he was on royal engagements, and I'm sure he is enjoying being a member of the royal family much more now he is married. Despite being sixth in line to the throne, he maintains a deep-seated sense of duty and will do as much as he can to help his 93-year-old grandmother, the Queen. However, he has also longed for a private life away from what he calls the goldfish bowl, and I suspect that when the time is right he and Meghan will spend more time out of the country, especially in Africa, which he loves and introduced Meghan to within days of meeting her. How much Meghan would like to be out of the spotlight remains to be seen. Her comments come after Miss Levin claimed Harry managed to connect with veterans better than professional therapists. She says Harry was able to engage with veterans in a natural way due to his time serving in the forces. The royal served in the army for 10 years. During his time he rose to the rank of captain and undertook two tours of Afghanistan. Miss Levin believes that Harry used his own experience and instinct to help the veterans open up about their time serving. She wrote, I joined him on a visit to the Help for Heroes Recovery Center at Bedworth House in Wiltshire. It's a place for former British servicemen and women who have suffered in battle. Although their physical wounds had largely healed they had come to take advantage of the hidden wounds psychological and well-being service and the opportunity to learn new skills.